Hey everybody, do here at Daily Gaming, back with more Monster Hunter World. And in this episode, we're going to take on the mission, uh, Man's Best Friend, or whatever. Uh, the guy down there wants us to capture a Odegaron on forum, because he had a dog and he misses it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Odegaron's a good pet, but okay. It's a cool looking pet, but I don't think he'd make a good one. So, I'm moving around a bit to kind of show off my new gear. Uh, I am going to use the Sword and Shield. I was originally going to hold off on you doing one uh, until the next mission, Tickle Pink, to show off the Sword and Shield. But I said, screw it. I want to Odegaron, on. It's a low rank. I have high rank armor. Um, while my build isn't really optimal yet, uh, it's not bad. Uh, there's I still need to do more grinding for armor. Uh, but I've, I, I had my uh, the paralysis weapon. I had to farm a lot of gyros or great gyros to get my charge blade my paralysis weapon and I had enough extras that I only had to hunt them like one or two more times and I could fully upgrade or nearly max this one out uh, <clears throat> I think it has two more tiers but one of them I can't get yet and t yeah one of them I don't even have access to yet and the other one uh, I need to hunt Diabolus for uh, and I'm not at the Diablo I'm not ready for Diabolus yet so this should do all right against them. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This does change up my build slightly uh, because obviously the sword and shield has uses uses different skills. Now the cool thing about the sword and shield is actually just how diverse it is. The sword and shield can really play in the, all sorts of different styles. Uh, if you want to be a support for your party. Uh, you can if you don't like the horn weapon, but you like doing support rolls. You can play as a sword and shield and, and still be support. Uh, if you like elemental uh, damage, the sword and shield is great for elemental because of how fast it is. Uh, it's, it's really easy for it to uh, rack up elemental damage. Uh, if you like affinity builds, the sword and shield is great for uh, getting a very high affinity very easy. Um, if you want just for all damage, it's also very easy to get uh, a, a mix of high attack and high affinity on a sword and shield build. It's just, <clears throat> oh, and even even uh, high blunt damage. Uh, you can attack with your shield, so if with slugger and other uh, not elemental uh, attack or weapons, you can get your slug your uh, slugger damage up really high, and you can and even if the monster's hard and your what your sword bounces, you can use your shield to still stagger them and stun them and stuff. It's it's a very diverse weapon. It's very easy to mount monsters with this weapon. Uh, that's something I haven't covered yet, but all weapons have mounting damage, and as the fight goes, you as you damage the monster and over time. Uh, you'll be able to mount them. So usually, because usually when you go to a fight, it's very easy to mount them at the beginning, but then it's usually hard to mount them depending on your weapon uh, until about halfway through, or even towards until the end of the fight. Like with the charge blade, it's not easy to mount monsters. I can usually only do it once, maybe twice, or I can usually do it twice if I'm lucky, three times during a mission or, or a hunt. Uh, with the sword and shield, you can mount a monster. I could mount like four, maybe even five times if I'm lucky. Uh, it's very easy to mount monsters, so it's very easy to weaken and uh, soften body parts. So you can assist your team by doing that, or just make life easier for yourself on your hunts by doing that. Like it's a it's a really really good weapon. Uh, and if you're curious about how this we how this weapon set can be used in a support role, because it doesn't require any skills, you can pretty much build it to whatever you want. Uh, so it's easy once you get, um, well, especially in Master Rank, it's very easy because you get like access to like the Tigrix set, which is all about uh, speed eating. So you can combine that with other sets like Item Prolonger. Uh, there's a skill, I can't remember what it's called, where uh, it's like, it, 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 it's something about range. But what it does is, when you consume something, it gives you a little AOE, and that and that uh, item will affect your allies. So you could eat a demon drug or a demon uh, nut or whatever it is, berry, and then that will affect your teammates as well. So you could heal, you can heal them, or you can heal yourself and heal them. You can buff your own attack while buffing theirs. 
it's uh, and then with the free meal combined, especially with the tiger set, it makes it so you pretty much you don't use any consumables ever. So you can just keep spamming them throughout the fight and just keep everybody going, while uh, also still being able to help out and deal damage. Uh, it's really really cool. Um, now playing now since I play solo, I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty much going to go for the high affinity, high attack. Um, the only thing I do suggest is if you're going to use the sword and shield, decide on whether you're going to guard or not guard with the shield. Uh, something else I haven't covered is that the shields in the game don't all have the same effectiveness. Um, the sword and shield has the worst shield out of all the shield weapons. The charge blade is the second worst. Um, I think the gun lance is the second best, and then the lance has the best shield. Um, attacks uh, that then and uh, attacks that would normally knock or stagger over somebody with like like let's say when I'm doing my uh, charge blade, if I was to block a Diablos's charge and my, sh my my shield wasn't charged at all, it would stagger me. It would send me tumbling and I would slide across the ground. I think with the gun lance, you still get staggered, but it barely. Or I'm sorry, with the with the lance, you still get staggered, but barely. Now, if you if I try and block that with my sword and shield, I'll get knocked over and then have to go through a recovery animation of standing up, uh, which leaves you very vulnerable to attacks. Um, so, if you're going to use the shield, you need to put points into guard. Um, Otherwise, guarding is just going to get you carded. <laughs> it's like I said, if those hard hits hit you and knock you over while you're getting up, you're done. Uh, so either go deep in, or go into guard or try to not use your shield. Now, the sword and shield is so mobile, you move around pretty much like this. This is like the regular run. Almost no weapons move this fast, but the sword and shield does. I think the dual blades do, and I think... The switch axe does when you're in axe mode. You move almost this fast, um, so it's very easy to get out of attacks uh, or to get away from attacks to dodge like the Diablo's charge and things like that. It's very easy to get away from them. Uh, the other advantage the sword and shield has is that it's the only weapon that can use items while the weapon is equipped. So you can, you don't have to put your the sword and shield away to heal or anything like that. Uh, you can lay traps with your weapon out, everything. I think you have to hold R2 and then press the item that you want to use. If you're not holding R... I think it's R2. If you're not holding R2, then you put your weapon away and then you use it. But while that, while it's a pretty neat thing, it's not that big of a deal because the Sword and Shield has one of the fastest sheaths as well. I think the dual blades are faster, but not by much. Um, so it literally takes, like like a second, maybe less than a second, to sheathe your weapon. So having to sheathe your weapon, as opposed to not sheathing your weapon, isn't that big of a deal. Um, the uh, uh, downside about using items while your weapon is out is that normally when you're eating items, so like healing, you can sprint. So you're, you won't go at a full sprint, but you can move faster at, like, at, at a regular run while you're drinking your potions. When your weapon is out, you can't sprint. Or while your weapon is out, you can't sprint. So you're f much slower uh, while you're doing those actions. So it's actually kind of worthwhile to put them away because uh, you have that mobility. Um, <clears throat> but with that, we're going to go ahead and get... Oh, I meant to show off mine. Yeah, like I said, it's not optimized. It's not complete yet. Um, yeah, I have the uh, Iron Side Charm. Uh, which gives me a point of guard, which isn't one point isn't great, but it's better than nothing. Still using the Rathalos uh, helm and chest piece. Uh, still the coil because I need a. Uh, I want to make it the Odegaron uh, waistband or waist guard, and you know, for the uh, points in the critical. Um, I'm using the Juria Greaves still because I need. I want to use the Rathalos legs. Uh, because it gives me another point of weakness exploit, which will give me three points of weakness exploit with the chess piece. Uh, so I still need to farm out resources for that. Um, but I'm using the bone van braces because that gives me a point of 
uh, a slugger and a point of attack boost. Like I said, you can attack with your shield, and you can create in uh, stun monsters, break uh, hard parts. Like on Radabon, his shell, you can just use your shield and break off the, the bone and uh, soften his uh, hide, so it makes it so that you, you can use your sword. Uh, vice versa, you can also get skills like with the Rathalos set. I think at four points, yeah, four pieces. It'll uh, it prevents your attacks from being deflected, so you don't even have to worry about softening body parts or getting mind's eye or, or with your weapon or anything to attack. So, uh, oh my loadout is set. We are. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. Yeah, attack up is fine. And let us get right. into this. What is the mission called? Oh yeah, it is man's best friend. Okay, yeah. Uh, the bottom camp that should be put that should put us right next to him. And I'll see you out there. All right, let's roll. I forgot to hit the supply box. Oh, it's a capture mission. I forgot about that. <laughs> and actually, it looks like he's up here. All right, so you got to bear with me because I am rusty. I've been wanting to use the sword and shield, but because the weapons, I'm in high rank and the weapons have been so, uh, for the sword and shield are so bad at this point, I haven't actually played it in a little while. Right, yeah, of course we're gonna go down. Sprint, there you go. I knew he was down at the nest. I should have just gone that way instead of going up here. Wow, already full. Okay. Oh, that's right. The uh, easy shock trap and such. Shield is a close range weapon that's focused on agility and dodging. It's great for the See how that attack staggered me so bad? See how quickly I just sheathed that? <laughs> So right there, I was actually using my shield to attack. So if you hold forward and press circle, you attack your shield. Uh, triangle uses your sword, obviously. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get hit by that. all of it. <laughs> that sucks. Oop, I rolled into that. There it is, there it is. Not doing too well. It's a very powerful attack and it deals a good bit of damage. Nope. Crap. I'm not getting I'm not I'm hitting all the wrong buttons here.
There we go. Yeah, so... Like I said, it's very easy to mount him, or to mount monsters with a sword and shield. You do, what is it, uh, back circle in, in a way, and you will, uh, and if you hold cir or hold circle, I think, I forgot how I did it already. I think if you hold circle, you'll do a special forward attack. If you, wow. I need a heal. Listen to this. Throw some items over there too. Something just fell from the sky. Dude, chill. All right, let's remember how to do it. Yeah, okay. You press back in circle and you fly up in the air like this. If you hit triangle, you do a downward slam attack. If you hit, if you press circle, oh, I missed him. Okay, he's dead, so it won't let me do it. But if you press circle, you uh, do a downward uh, shield bash, and it deals a high amount of stun damage. Uh, the Sword and the Shield also has a really cool move, where if you do a wall jump, when you're coming down, you, if you hit press, and you could do the triangle or circle, uh, the triangle is different after a wall jump for some reason. You do an attack called the Helm Splitter, and it hits multiple times. So if you're dealing with a big monster, it's a great way to... Where did he go? If you're dealing with a large monster... It's a good way to deal a lot of hits on them that are all very powerful. I could have swore he ran the other way. I must have taken one of those back passages. Just need to sharpen my weapon. The other cool thing about the Sword and Shield is that as long as you keep pressing triangle, you'll just constantly attack. And it's easy to change the direction so the monster moves. Oh, thank you, heroes. Oh, bugger. Stop. Crap, I keep doing that. I keep rolling into that attack. I know which direction it's coming from. I know that I can see the angle of it, and I keep just rolling straight into it. I'm trying to get these materials before they disappear now. The only, yeah, the only thing about that attack is it takes a little, or that really powerful combo, it takes, it has a little bit of a, a setup. So, if the monster recovers quickly, you're done. But... You can also bail out of it at any time. And he is, no, not mine. Oh crap, I didn't want to use mine. Oh well. I wanted to use his 
for the or the one to use her to save my resources. Oh well. But yeah. Like I said, I was really rusty with the sword and shield. Uh trying to, I need to have, I need a little bit more practice to get the combos down. <laughs> but that's the sword and shield. Like I said, it's a very cool weapon. Uh dang, no plates. Good bit of resources, but no plates. Cause I still I need two plates. One for my uh, armor set for the sword and shield, and one for my charge blade. But there we go. That is done. And uh, for this mission, you just get research points. So well, I'll, I'll show it. Yeah, we get back. We usually talk to that guy. <clears throat> Yeah, my plunder blade's almost maxed out. Told you, been doing so much grinding. <laughs> Having the plunder blade's been uh, really helpful. It's really helped out. But, God, it's been so exhausting. But I'm about done with it, with uh, with all of it. And what's really going to suck is that once we beat the Pink Rathian, I think we get access to a new area. And one of those guys well, has a really cool armor set. Even more trouble if we don't get out there and investigate. And one of those guys has a cool armor set. Uh, it's very useful for oh. the charge blade. So, yeah, you get 800 points for that for completing that. Uh, this person didn't have a mission when we left, so completing that must have unlocked a new. Uh, oh, again, it's access there. to a new one. Coral Highlands. Oh, it's the Kieran. Let's get the lead out. There we go. That's a fun one. Uh, definitely want to want a better armor set than this. Uh, the Kieran, it's a low, it's a low rank mission, only five star. He is very dangerous though. That's why they made him five star. The uh, a high rank Kieran uh, at this point would, even with a, a better armor set, would stomp me. He is, uh, he's a pretty, he can be very, very hard, um, but. He has a cool armor set. Uh, it really helps with grinding. And the weapons you get from him are very powerful elemental weapons. Uh, I think depending on the arm on the weapons, it can be... I think for the sword and shield, his uh, thunder weapon is the most powerful. For the charge blade, it unfortunately isn't. Oh, wait, no, I don't even think... Do you get one for the, for the charge blade? Let's take a quick peek. I'm starting to ramble. The video's over, just in case you want to move on now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, Charge Blade doesn't have a Kieran tree. It has the Tobokodachi tree. Yeah, 154, 0 to 70. Okay, sharpness. Where it is. Guess yeah, one. The Thunder Element Tree has higher raw damage. 182. But yeah, 270 with better sharpness compared to. 90 with worse sharpness. So eventually the lightning weapon will outpace the Kieran weapon uh, simply because of how many options it has. Uh, but the next jump is in is a high rank one. Uh and I think that one quickly outdoes this one. Yeah, it's 154. Yeah, it has, it has almost 100 points on it. That's pretty huge. So, but if you're going for an elemental build, yeah. The Thunder Weapon is, or the Kirin is usually one of the better ones for Thunder. But alright, that's going to wrap up this episode. Uh... I can't believe I have access to Kieran. I might do that before taking one of the Pink Rathian, or before Tickle Pink. Uh, I'll switch back to the Charge Blade for that, though. 
because the charge blade has a better build set. Um, so he'll be easier to handle. Man, that's crazy. I can't believe we got the Kieran already. I forgot all about him. I was thinking he wasn't until later. But alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.